Be instant, man. And uh, brother, uh, can you pull up what that word means in the Greek and in Second Timothy chapter four, verse two? No. The Lord commands us to be instant, man. Right. I need somebody to get it. Second Timothy chapter four, verse two. Come on. It's the book of Second Timothy chapter four, verse two. Bring it out. Preach the word. Do what? Preach, Preach the, the word. word. Do what? Preach, Preach the, the word. word. The Lord didn't say sit on the sidelines, man. That's say right. I'm straight. Me and Raheem, we're just going to go live for two hours. We did the work. The Lord said, preach the word. Right. Right, read. Be instant, in season. When? In it's season. Hey, in season, man. That's right. In season. That's when it's warm outside. That's when it's sunny, man. Now, well, let's keep putting in that work. Hey, Shalom, y'all. Okay. 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 Tap in with all y'all, right? Shalom, right. 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 okay? Shalom. Oh. 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 Hey, because the most high, he commands us, hey, in season, man. That's right. When it's warm outside, it's feeling good. You kind of go outside, you kind of feel the breeze. You see trees kind of coming up. It's kind of beautiful, huh? Yeah, uh, you got that word for me, King? Which one? Instant. And the Greek. Instant, right there. The definition of Instant, to place at, place upon, place over. Hey, so wherever you're at, man, you gotta preach the word. Say, what's, what's up, sisters? Do y'all believe in the Bible? Good question, King. Do y'all believe in the Bible? We're out here for y'all. We're standing out here in this cold just for y'all. Just to help y'all. Do y'all believe in the Bible? You're a Christian? Can we give you your verse of today? Right. Got time for one verse. One verse. One verse. One verse. I thought y'all were Christians. I'm a Christian. One verse. All right, well, y'all are Hebrew Israelites. Yeah. Right. Just take the flyer. Oh, yeah. yeah. Put more trying to tell We got more. Oh. You got it, okay. It's the book of 2 Timothy, chapter 4, verse 2. Go. Go. Preach the word. God. Be instant. In season, out of season. In season and out of season. Hey, out of, hey, hey, the out of season, that's really when you get strong for real. That's right. right. You start uh -huh. running the miles, man. That's when you can really get them in the weights, man. Uh -huh. Remember, them out of season of football, Russell's going crazy. Damn, two a days. Russell's going crazy uh -huh. on the track all damn day long. Good. You know, that out of season, that builds the character. Uh -huh. That shows who, just who like the real men are. Uh -huh. That's right. right. Hey, brother's been cooped up for months, man. Uh -huh. as, as soon as it gets cold. All right, excuse me, brother. Do you believe in God, King? Brother. A brother with a backpack. Well, brother, you're an Israelite. Keep God's commandments. That's right. right. You know, because brothers, hey, when it gets cold, brothers kind of bring it in, man. We, and start doing a lot of live streams. <laughs> brother, <laughs> brother, I haven't been in the word, brother, been sitting down, you know, with two bottles of water, with lemon, to do a live stream. But the Lord said, be instant and preach in season and also out of season. That's right. Right, read. Reprove. Do what? Reprove. Reprove. You can't come out here and be afraid to shake the hand, huh? That's right. You got to shake the A. The Lord, give me Matthew chapter 11 and 20. It said that he upbraided the cities. Right. right? They didn't believe. And you know how shy was getting on people, huh? That's right. You can't be shy, scared. What if he has a gun, Ezra? Ezra, don't do not do him like that. <laughs> quiet down. I need you to quiet down. He may have a we're in Atlanta. This isn't South Carolina. He's going off. Oh, I read. This is the book of Matthew, chapter 11, verse 20. Bring it out. Then began he to upbraid the city. Yeah, how was that upbraided the cities, man? He was getting on, man. That's right, right. read. We're in. Most of his mighty works were done. This is where the works of downtown Atlanta, man, humbly speaking, through the spirit. This is where the works are, are just are done. Why right, read. Because they re repented not. Because they repented not, man. Because the people want to keep on indulging in views, bars, and grills, right? And fried lobster and them catfish fighters. That's right. You know, so you have a shy, he had to upbraid the cities, man. Huh? That's right. He came in might, he came fierce through the spirit, huh? Are you a 
Hispanic brother? Brother, are you a Hispanic, a so-called Hispanic? Good question, King. Well, brother, you're likely an Israelite. Right. Uh, you got, you got Second Timothy. Sure. Hey, we, hey, we, we gotta come out here and teach, man. That's right. We have to. Right? Can we Acts chapter twenty, verse twenty-eight? Right? Give me the book of um, John. John. Give me Acts twenty and twenty-eight. Right? Give me the book of Judas, chapter eight, verse twenty-four. Yeah. It's the Bring book it. of Acts, chapter twenty. Verse 28, bring it, it out. out. Take heed, therefore, unto yourself. And so the Lord said, take heed to yourself, man. And make sure that you're doing what you're supposed to be doing. That's right. Right, right. read. And to all the flock. And to, and to what? And to and all, all the flock. flock. And to what? And, and to, to all, all the flock. flock. And you have the flock out here, man. That's right. You have not knowing so-called African-Americans and uh, Hispanics and Native Americans out here, right, that don't know what's going on, man. That's right. These are the Lord's flock. Right? Give me uh, Psalms chapter 100, verse 3. Right? Hold what you got. Psalms chapter 100, verse 3. Right? Because yeah. that's our job, just as brother was going into. A bishop, right. pastor, yeah. right, a shepherd, all of these words are synonymous, man. It goes into leading the flock, right? Leading the sheep, right? That's what the, these words go, go into. Uh, Psalms 100, verse number 3. It's the book of Psalms. Verse 100. Yes. Uh, it's a lot. Are y'all God fearing people? Are y'all Christians? I kind of actually, I'm Jewish. You're Jewish? So do you have one word, if you have one minute for the Torah, right. you're just supposed to be a Torah believer. Right. I'm a Torah believer. All these brothers up here, we study the Torah. Right. You got one minute for, for the Torah? Right. One minute. Yeah, we got one minute. Yeah, we got one minute. Yeah, we got one minute. Give me Revelation 13. Oh, it's all good, man. It's all good. Hey, hey the Messiah ain't here for reserving that here for later. That's what yeah. the Lord just did. Yeah. Preserving the ear of destruction and death until the later. Good. All right, you got Psalms. The book of Psalms, chapter 100, verse 3. Bring it out. Know ye that the Lord is he, is God. Is it lucky? It is he that made us. God. And now we ourselves. God. We are the it's like we are his people. We are his people. Read. And the sheep of his pasture. And it and the what? And, and the, the sheep, sheep of his pasture. And we're the Lord's sheep, man. Huh? That's right. Sheep are hungry. Sheep need to be led, man. Huh? You got Judah? Kind of. 8 verse 24. Man. It's the book of Judah, chapter 8 and verse 24. So like, so like, no. Excuse me, sister. Do so you have one minute for God, sister? I know it's cold out here. Do you have one minute for one verse of the day? A verse of the day. All right, well, you're an Israelite sister, right? We have to keep God's commandments. That's right. All right, read King. It's the book of Judah. A uh, brother, do you believe in God, King? Judah don't believe in God. Well, you got one minute for a Bible verse then, brother? All right, on the flyer, we got the YouTube, King. All right, read. It's the book of Judah, chapter 8 and verse 24. Bring it out. Now therefore, O brother. Now therefore, O brother. Right now, therefore, O Quante. Now, therefore, O Jonathan. Right now, therefore, therefore, O Isaiah. Now, therefore, O Rayahim. Now, therefore, O Kishmai. Right, read. Let us shoot an example. To let, let us do what? Let, let us shoot, shoot an example. example. And we got to shoot an example. Huh? That's, Where are the elders at? I don't see, hey, no man out here is over 30. Huh? Where are the elders at, man? Huh? Supposed to teach and lead the people. Huh? Give me Micah chapter three, verse one. Okay. Read. Let us shoot an example. Excuse me, uh, br excuse me, brother. You got one minute for God, King. Hey, one minute, you got one. Brother. Got one minute to spare. Find spot, right? All right. Well, yeah. Can you take a, a flyer, King? You got one minute to grab a flyer. You got one for you right there. Right. According to the Bible, you're a king. Right. We got to the people. Right. You got the YouTube on the fly. So, That's right. right. Let us shoot an example to our brother. Hey, so we're hey, we have to shoot an example to That's our right. brother. Huh? Right, where are the where are the elders? Where are the rich men that have the money and they have all the fancy big jackets yeah. and all the fancy gloves, the damn Louis V, the damn Versace. You know, where are they? You sure don't believe in God, brother? Cool. All right, well, brother, you're an Israelite. According to the Bible, keep God's commands. Right. Right. right, read. Because their hearts depend upon us. Because they're what? Because, because their, their hearts, hearts depend, depend upon, upon us. us. Hey, the sheep, their hearts depend on us, man. Literally, brothers, no. We got brothers and sisters that depend on these the videos. 
you know. Read. In the sanctuary, in the house, and the altar rests upon us. Huh? So the altar, hey, it rests upon us, man. Huh? We got to do the work, man. Huh? To go build up this temple, man. Right, to right. put in the brick, labor in the cold, in the heat, in the rain, in the snow. Right, to go bring forth the sheep to the Lord, man. Right, right. Right. To go watch and maintain over the sheep. That's Listen, right. we don't do it. Who is going to do it, man? That's right. That's right. Who's going to stand up for the Lord right. in these last days, man? Right. And be firm and be bold. Don't care what the damn weather forecast say, man. And stand up here for the Lord, man. That's right. Read Micah 3 and 1. Can you give me the book, book of, of uh, First Chronicles chapter 3? This is the book of Micah, chapter, chapter 3, verse 1. Bring it out. And I said, Here, I pray you, O heads of Jacob. And ye princes of the house of Israel. Council, this is to the heads of Jacob, man. This is okay. to Jay Z. This is to Beyonce. Hey, hey, who else are the heads of damn Israel? Drake. Drake, man. This is Kanye. Braun, man. Damn Braun, Braun. Bring it up. These are to these men. Right, read. It is not for you to know judgment. Who hate the good? Who do what? Who, who hate, hate the, the good? good? Hey, they hate the good. You tell LeBron that he's an Israelite, he'll probably laugh at you. That's right. right. They say, what the hell are you talking about? I'm a black man. Black lives matter. That's probably exactly what he said. All right, S excuse me, sister. To you who believe in God, you got one minute for one Bible verse, sister. Get her, get her, you got on the flyer, King? Fly. You got on the flyer? Yeah, fly. hey. hey, read. Right. And love the evil. And, and they love evil. They love folly. They love money. Hey, I was reading First John the other day. Hey, the lust of the, just the lust of the flesh, lust of the eyes, and the damn pride of life. That's right. That's what these people love. Right, read. Who pluck off their skin from off them, come, and their flesh from off their bones, come. You got it. Verse three. Who also eat the flesh of my people? Who do what? Who also, also eat, eat the, the flesh, flesh of my people? Hey you, hey, you got these leaders, man. They eat our flesh, man. Right. They eat our flesh, man. That's right. Look at LeBron. I mean, look at LeBron, KD, Michael Jordan charging three hundred dollars for a pair of damn tennis shoes. Just the exclusives. Damn Yeezys go for damn eight hundred dollars. Look at those. You eating our people, man. God. That's off. Right, read and flay their skin from off them. Read and they break their bones. They chopped them in pieces. Damn, man. So they, hey, these wicked men, they want to eat the sheep, man. Huh? That's right. So we got to feed the sheep. Right. We have to nurture the sheep. We have to leave, lead the sheep, man. Huh? That's right. And not leave the sheep. Because all these false pastors and false bishops that lead Israel and it's not unto the Lord, they're going to be destroyed, huh? Right? That's right. In the truth, out the truth, you're going to be destroyed by the Lord, man. Give me um, all what you got. I need a brother to get 2 Maccabees. 2 Maccabees, the 15th chapter, and the 30th verse. After that, uh, what I call Charlie or Kimmy? First Chronicles 11, 22. Yeah, we'll, get, we'll, get, we'll get that next. Uh, second Maccabees, the 15th chapter, in the 30th verse. Man. Somebody has to protect the sheep. I don't know my brothers, but I have no problem feeding the sheep all day long. Right. I can stand up here right here, have his brother stand up here right here, have, his, have my other brother stand up here right here, and we can go for four hours, man. six hours, eight hours. However the long, however the however long the most I needs us to go. That's right. All right, excuse me, brother. Brother, brother. With the hooters, man. Hey, you got a lot of food on the Sabbath day, huh? <laughs> they have chicken wings here. Right? Brothers in Atlanta got the the damn lemon pepper wings here, man. That's all, right? On the Sabbath day, right? But hey, I have no problem feeding the sheep all day long, man. whether it's cold, whether it's raining, That's whether it's hell, whether it's hell mingled with fire. Right. Or whether it's whatever, man, locusts, mosquitoes, whether my head hurt, or whether my back hurt, whether my neck hurt, whether my feet hurt, somebody has to feed the sheep. That's, That's right. right. Somebody has to do it. That's right. Either, either you're gonna let LeBron James, damn Drake, damn 21, damn young nudie, hey, you're gonna let them leave the sheep, let them destroy the, the just the sheep, you know, or or you gotta stand up for something. Right. That's right. And lead the sheep and right the sheep, man, and teach. Right, read. What you need, uh, 2 Maccabees 15 and 30? Verse 30, come. It's the book of 2 Maccabees, chapter 15 and verse 30. Right out. And Judas, who was ever the, like it, was ever the chief defender of the citizens. Hey, Judas was the chief defender, man. Judas didn't let anybody wicked come near the sheep, man. That's and, right. And tell them all, can't tell them all. Y'all about your mouth, y'all about your you know, and then and most our women, we don't either. We're not gonna let any wicked men come near the sheep, huh? That's you get slain. Last time I checked, 
Right, give me first Samuel chapter 17, okay? Bring it up. Verse number 37. Right, last time I checked, David killed lions and bears if they came near the sheep. Man, give me second Chron man, give me second Samuel chapter 23 and 3, okay? Give me first give me second Samuel chapter 24, verse 7. Bring it up, bring it up. First Samuel. God, first Samuel chapter 17. Okay? David killed bears and lions that mess with the sheep. Huh? Uh, let's see, I think 137. Bring it out! First Samuel 17, you got it? That's right, yeah, I can't, I can't even see this. Give me 2 Samuel chapter 24, 17. Okay, all right, 23 and 2. Right, 1 Samuel, wait, uh, hold, hold that. 17. Yeah, 1 Samuel chapter 17. Let's pick up Drake. Damn win, man, Satan, man. You got it? Uh, come on, verse number 37. Yeah, it's the book of it's the book of First Samuel chapter seventeen verse thirty seven. Bring it out. out. David said, "Moreover, the Lord that delivered me out of the paw of the lion, Kai. and out of the paw of the bear, Kai. he will deliver me. He will do what? He, he will, will deliver me. me. He will do what? He, he will, will deliver me. me." And so David slayed a lion, a literal lion. If brother saw a lion walk up in Atlanta. All hell would break loose. All these real niggas, all these thugs, they would be on the run, man. All these bloods <laughs> and crips, all, all, all the bloods and crips and GDs, damn slimes, everybody would run, man. With your gun and your hip, what you running, man? Huh? Going off. Hey, my poor fathers, man, hey, my father slayed lions, man. He slayed bears, right? To go protect the sheep, man. Huh? Right, read. He will deliver me. Out of the hand of this Philistine. And so he's going to deliver us out of the hand of these wicked, uncircumcised, nasty, That's wicked heathens, man. That's right. These nasty Hamites and these nasty Africans. Right? Yeah. And brother, according to the Bible, King, you will be a Hebrew Israelite. Yes, sir. Right? Keep God's commandments. That's God right. loves you. Right? You got it? Second Samuel chapter 24. God, verse 17. It's the book of Second Samuel chapter 24, verse 17. Bring it out! And David spoke to the Lord when he saw the angel. That smote the people Kai. and said, Lo, I have sinned and I have done wickedly. Kai. But these sheep, but these what? But, but these, these sheep, sheep, but these what? But, but these, these sheep, sheep, read. What have they done? What have they done? Huh? Let thine hand, I pray thee, be against me and against my father's house. Hey, David felt so bad for the sheep that died after he went off. Right? He said, Hey, Lord, hey, forgive them. Put that on me. Lay that on my charge. Put that on my tab. That's right, read. Verse 18. And Gad came that day to David. Read. And said unto him, Go up, rear an altar unto the Lord, and the thresh threshing floor of Arena, the Jebusite. Con, you can drop the king. Give me 23 and 2. All right. Excuse me, family. Are y'all so called Hispanics? Are y'all Hispanics? And if y'all are, y'all are God's chosen people. Y'all be Hebrew Israelites. Right, and y'all are commanded to keep God's commandments. Right. Right, read it. It's the book of 2 Samuel, chapter 23, and verse 2. Bring it out. The Spirit of the Lord spake by me, and his word was in my tongue. Read. The God of Israel said, The rock of Israel spake to me. He that ruleth over men. He that what? He that ruleth over men. He that what? He that ruleth over men. He that what? He that ruleth over men. And so the Lord said, if you rule over men, if the Lord chose you and he anointed you, right to go lead his sheep. That's right. His people. Can you feel that sign for me, Ken? This one? Yeah, uh, 12 trials. Right? Hey, if the Lord chose, this is his real thing. The Lord chose men to go lead the sheep. That's right. That's right. Hey, the Lord chose men to go nurture. Right. Hey, the Lord chose men to go lead his chosen people. That's That's right. The 12 tribes of the house of Israel that he has killed billions of heathens for. That's right. Right? That he has mourned and cried for. He chose men on this earth right now to go lead these people. Right? Read. Come. Must be just. Must be just, man. So, if, hey, so that's one of the requirements. To be a shepherd, to lead the sheep, you have to be just. That's right. Right, read. Ruling in the fear of God. Ruling in the fear of the Lord, man. Verse 4. And he shall be as the light of the morning. Hey, so that man is going to be like the light of the air in the morning. Huh? That's right. He's going to be like the light that shines bright, man. That distinguishes right from wrong. That yeah. distinguishes good from evil. Right, read. When the sun rises, even the morning without the clouds. Without the clouds, man. 
Yeah. But brothers know how that sun hit without the clouds, man. Yeah. It kind of, hey, that mother kind of hit. Right. So, hey, the man that the Lord chooses to go judge his people, that's that same type of sun. Right, Read. That's right. As the tender grass springing out of the earth, uh -huh. by clear shining out the rain. Uh -huh. Although my house be not be not so with God, yet ye have made with me an everlasting covenant. Hey, so the Lord made an everlasting covenant with the house of David. That's right. Right with the house of Israel. That's right. Right. And David, man, David was a poet, man. Huh? You see this language up. You see the syntax. Uh. Right. Hey, metaphors. Right. Hey, David gets deep, huh? That's right. You want just a, a, a warrior, a prophet, a king. Hey, First Chronicles, yeah. Bring that. Show me Proverbs chapter. It's the book of First Chronicles, chapter eleven and verse twenty-two. Hey, this is what my forefathers did when it was cold, when it was snow, right? Like brick. I was saying, like damn brick. I don't know what that means, but it's like brick. Excuse me, sister. Do you have one minute for God, sister? All right, you were Israelite. Excuse me, family. Check out one minute for God, family. Brother, do you have one minute for God? Y'all are Hebrew Israelite. Keep God's commandments. Right, read, Ken. Do y'all have one minute for God? Are y'all God fearing family? No? Right, read. The book of 1 Chronicles, chapter 11, verse 22. Read it out. Benaniah, the son of Jehada, the son of. Like the son of a villain, a valiant, valiant man of Kevin's head, who had done many acts. He slew two lion like men of Moab. God. Also, he went down and slew a lion in a pit. In a what? In, in a, a pit. pit. Read. In a snowy day. In, in a what? In, in a, a snowy, snowy day. day. In a what? In, in a, a snowy, snowy day. day. In a what? In, in a, a snowy, snowy day. day. So the warriors of the Lord, they don't chill when it's snowy. You know, Jay has snow days. Kind of drinking hot cocoa. The men of the Lord don't drink hot cocoa when it's cold, man. That's right. With all types of marshmallows, all types of pork in it. You go off, you know. But hey, our forefathers slew men. They killed men in this weather, man, yes, in right. a snowy day. Say it again. Verse 23. And he slew an Egyptian, a man of great stature. Five cubits high. And in the Egyptian's hand was a spear like a weaver's vein. Uh -huh. And he went down to him with a stab and plucked the spear out of the Egyptian's hand and slew him with his own spear. Hey, so that's why I always got the stab, man. Got the stab from Moses. That's right. part something. Okay. Yeah, part the whole damn street, huh? Yeah. All this grab on the asphalt left up to the third heaven. And all y'all break loose. Okay. You know? Uh, and in case a damn he didn't come up, a damn wicked Egyptian. A damn, a man from the, from damn Mizraim comes up, kind of got to do what I got to do, kind of grab that spear and cause all hell to break. Good. Right? Or if I'm in the New Testament, if I'm in Mark, you know, chapter one, you chapter five, I so mean chapter six. Right? Excuse me, sister. <laughs> you got one woman for God. If I'm sister. Like, like if I'm in Mark chapter six, where the Lord commanded his apostles to take nothing else but a staff. Right. That's all. That's all. That's right. That's our brothers brought the staff, man. It's multiple reasons, multiple witnesses. Right? Um, what you holding? Yeah, Proverbs 31. Because our forefathers, they, they didn't fear the damn cold, man. Right. They didn't fear the damn snow. You best believe when they went out to war that day, they were complaining. That's yeah, so cold. I miss my bed. I miss my child. I miss my wife. Tell me I miss my wife all day. Yeah, yeah. My, to my, I wish I was in her bosom right now because it's so cold. Feel her warmth. They weren't talking about feeling <laughs> their woman's warmth when it's time to go do the Lord's work, man. That's right. When it's time to save Israel, man. That's when right. it's time to deliver our people out of slavery, out of captivity, right? Out of being under tribute, right? Spiritually, right now, but back then, physically, it's the same thing. All right, read. This is the book of Proverbs, chapter 31, verse 21. She is not afraid of the snow. For her household. And so even the women of the Lord, so our brother's not better than better than damn women. That's a damn shame, man. That's a damn that's a goddamn shame. Man. You got the mighty women of the Lord. They don't fear the cold. They don't fear the damn stuff. But brother's snotty nose about to cry. <laughs> Tell about let's close up cow. <laughs> that's off. Tell him about let's close it up. Kinda of hit a brother from Ezra. 
you know, tell your car you've been going for too long. That's yeah, all. He has 30 seconds left. <laughs> you gotta get it solved chapter 34. <laughs> Brother, we've got to count for an hour and a half. <laughs> Brother, get Psalm 34 already. That's all. That's all. Right? So even the women of the Lord, man, they don't fear the snow. They don't fear the cold, man. Right? Start from the top, Karen. The book of Proverbs, chapter 31, verse 21. Bring it yeah. out. She is not afraid of the snow. She is not afraid. Damn. This is a she. Come on. This is your mother. This is your, and this is your wife, man. She shouldn't be afraid of the snow either. How much more are you? Uh, you gotta not take it out the trash for three weeks because it's cold. <laughs> that's, that's all. The house is like ass and trash and garbage because it's too cold for them. You know? <laughs> hey, your big jacket isn't a wash pussy. Now it's at the dryers. <laughs> that's all. That's your big jacket. That's right. right. Even the woman of the Lord. They don't fear the damn snow. That's man. right. How much more than men of the Lord? That's right. Read for her household. For all her household are clothed with scarlet. Come on. So, hey, and on a deeper level, you gotta make sure that you're clothed. That's right. Hey, mentally. Me and a brother were talking about David Goggins, man. You gotta clothe yourself mentally, man. That's right. Make sure you're in the right mask. I don't care if I don't care if it's zero degrees. If I'm in them Antarctica. Hey, if, hey, if the Lord puts the spirit on me to teach, hey, it's time to teach, man. No brother can. Lord willing, say never hot somebody. Nah, today is not a teaching day. No, every day is supposed to teach, man. <laughs> every day you're supposed to be on fire for the Lord. And the Lord said, be instant, man. At the drop of a dime, be ready to break something down. Huh? That's right. Hey, because that's what the Lord did for us, man. That's right. The Lord stops with you. Kind of waking up at 4 o'clock in the morning. So, yeah, then we'll get me in a few chapters. The Lord woke me up. And I'm going hey, the Lord, he's not chilling, resting up. So it's 4 a.m., brother, relax. <laughs> hey, he's there with you, man. He's knocking at the door. Right, ready to sow, but ready to build you up. Right, right. What's right. right. yeah. Proverbs. What's God? Luke got Luke? Yeah, got Luke 23. Yeah, 23, no, 24. 24. No, uh, just get 2nd Ezra 6 and 37. 2nd Ezra is 9 verse 24. Right, and give me, uh, just get 24. Yeah, look, look at 30. 24. 24. Drew, bring it down. Second answer, six. Thirty-seven. Bring it out! Twenty-four. Who am I shall? 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 Bring it out! It's the book of Second Answer, chapter six. Verse 37. Bring it out! For my spirit was greatly set on fire. For my what? For my spirit was greatly set on fire. For my what? For my spirit was greatly set on fire. Get loud, man. For my what? For my spirit was greatly set on fire. Read! And my soul was in distress. Hey, so Ezra said his spirit was set on fire, man. No matter how damn cold it is, that doesn't affect your body. And that doesn't affect your spirit, man. That's right. Give me second Ezra chapter 4 and 16. You gotta close up yourself mentally. Hold up yourself spiritually. Right? You gotta That's gird right. up like a man in these last days. That's right. Me and a brother, hey, we were talking about it last night. Hey, Jacob's trouble, you may not even have shoes. What are you gonna do then? You got only got socks, you walk half a mile, and now your socks are destroyed, and it's 20 degrees outside. Bro's gonna fall out the truth then. Bro's gonna last now. Got on two layers. <laughs> you know, got two pairs of socks. You may not even have socks. Maybe 20 degrees, you're gonna lose faith. Let's just be real. Let's just be real, bro. But it's not ready for that. Right. These are times we got to get ready for. Yes. Say it again. Yes. Nine to verse uh, 44. Yes. Oh. Uh, yeah, that's it on that? Yes. Because your yeah, brother's not ready for that cold, man, right. for them conditions, man. Right. Yeah, Feast of Tabernacles, when, when was that? That was in like what, September? <laughs> September? <laughs> it's, it's kind of, hey, that's not even winter down. That's like fall, you know? You may not have no socks, you may not even have a jacket. Hey, your jacket's kind of ripped up, you know, it smells terrible. You know, you may be just bare feet, and it's 20 degrees, and it is what it is. There's no hot hands in Jacob's trouble. There's no big, thick gloves, insulated gloves, right? And you got on eight jackets with two foot, and them all zipped up. Eight jackets, but the damn guy got on a bandana over your face. Hey, that, you may not have that, brother. We gotta gird up ourselves mentally for these days soon to come. Yes, sir. And if we can't last now, man, go ahead and take off your in a secret bunker. Uh, you may have a nice. He may be Joe Bob type man. Well, I mean, Abaya, we may be out of Stone Mountain, uh, confounded for real, but calling upon the Lord, uh, having faith that He's going to have mercy upon us. Raheem, he may be, be 
ducked off in Florida, it's kind of warm, at the beach, man, with eight other brothers, you know, and they all moving as a team. Right. Got a brother Quan say, you know, you may be up Bro, in a mountain somewhere, man. Huh? In a mountain, man, cold, <laughs> shivering. They uh, see, uh, hey, the Lord kind of teleports Yismaya to you, and he gives you eight jackets, and he kind of teleports you back. Uh, you know, <laughs> and in a span of damn five minutes, you know, kind of uplifts you. Hey, that's where he's saying, chapter 23 and verse 16, man. Huh? So we don't know what's going to be going on in these last days. Remember, these are the times to pray, man. Times to right. pray for mental strength, man. That's right. For mental fortitude, man. Right. Bring that out, okay? It's the book of Jeremiah, chapter 20, and verse 9. Yeah. Yeah. Then I said, I will not make mention of him. Kasso, you don't want to be like this, man. You don't want to be like, you know, nah, I'm done with it. You know, because Jeremiah was going off. That's right. You do believe in God, brother? Good Air Airpods. Read. Nor speak any more his name. And the Jer Jeremiah was going off, man. Right, read. But his word was in my heart as a burning fire. Hey, but the word was in his heart like a burning fire, man. So the most high, he had mercy upon, you know, Jeremiah, and his word was like a burning fire, man. <laughs> right, read. Shut up in my bones. And I was weary with forbearing. Ka. Uh -huh. and, and I could not say, stay. For I heard the faming of many. Fear on every side. Do so y'all believe in God? Absolutely, 100%. 100%. No other way. You got a verse of today? You got one minute for the verse of the day? Yes. I know it's cold out here. Verse, verse of the day. Today. Give me Revelation, okay? Give me Jeremiah 30. Definitely living Teacher, in Revelation. I'll... Say it again? <laughs> you're absolutely, you're absolutely right. right we're going to see what Revelation says. Right. Give, awesome. give me Revelation. I can't even say yeah, hey, we're the men of the Lord, huh? Right. Through the Spirit, man. Revelation True. 13, okay? Uh, you see me? Yeah, 2 and 26. Right? I I love the book of Revelation. And me and this right. brother right here, we talk a lot about Revelation. Yeah. Yeah. It's all about the prophecies, huh? Right. Got it? Yeah. It's the book of Revelation, chapter 13 and verse 10. Right, right so, hey, these are the words of Christ right here, right? Read. He that leadeth into captivity. He that what? He that leadeth into captivity. Right, so God said if you lead people into slavery, Right, who led my ancestors into slavery? Good question. This is Revelation. I love Revelation. Right. Why right, y'all love Revelation? Right, who led my people into captivity? I do not know. Uh -oh. You do not know? Have you ever heard of plantations? I'm uh -oh. from Mississippi. I'm from Mississippi. Oh, okay. All right, I've seen hundreds of plantations. Yeah. My ancestors were on plantations. Right, who owned my ancestors as slaves, as cattle? We did. We, who was we? White. That's right. Right. So we're gonna see what Revelation says is gonna happen. That he that wrong. leads into captivity. Right. Read the top. He that leadeth into captivity. So God says in Revelation chapter 13, this is Christ. If you lead somebody into slavery, right, right read. Shall go into captivity. Shall what? Shall go into captivity. So God said if you put a nation of people into slavery, then you have to go into slavery. Right? It's one of the reasons why Revelation is one of my favorite books. Right? Because do y'all believe God is fair and justice? Right? Fair? Sure y'all got one minute for God, family? Sure y'all got for one minute for one verse? For one verse, brother? All right, well, y'all are Israelites, all right? Y'all are Israelites, right? Give me Revelation 2, right? So God said, if you leave somebody in the slavery, what's going to happen to you? So what is the end of the white race? What is going to happen to so-called white people? Well, I'm hoping that we're raptured, so I'll have to find that out. Well, we, we just read that the judgment was if you leave somebody in slavery, that's why you got to go into slavery. Forgiveness of sin. This is after Christ died. This is revelation. This is the re revealing to, if they continue of Jesus Christ. To do that, then, then they are wrong. Does God, is God a God of justice? Give me Colossians. But he's also got grace and mercy. Give me, um, give me, uh, yeah, well, can we... It's just like, it's just like if there's a bad doctor, they're not all bad. I totally agree that they were wrong. So what, what should happen, should happen for that? What should happen? Because we I read with the Bible. Y'all got one minute now? Y'all spun back. Y'all got one minute. You got one minute, though, sister. One minute. One verse. One verse. Right, read. 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 Right, they could still here right now. Oh, I know, I got it, I got it. Alright, uh, Revelation. Oh, no, yeah. This is also in Revelation. This right, is so according to the Bible, it's not what I think, right. it's not what you think. Right. We know. we believe in the Bible. And you said we're the men of the Lord. Right. I believe right. That we believe in the Bible. The word of the right. Lord. We read the Bible a lot and study the Bible every day. 
hours upon hours so, every day. But do you believe that if anybody commits a sin, they're damned to hell? We didn't say damned to hell. God says just their ancestors. You got to come out. I mean, okay. I believe that right, we go to the throne of God for forgiveness of your ancestors. Say it again. Go to the throne of God for forgiveness of your ancestors. <laughs> Where is that in the Bible? Oh, I can show you lots of scriptures. All right. If we're going to read the testament right now. Though. It's the book of Colossians, chapter 3, and verse 25. Bring it out. But he that doeth wrong shall receive for the wrong right, which so, he hath done. Wait, so is this wrong? Is this wrong right here? What they is, did, absolutely. Is this wrong? wrong. Read from the top. <laughs> it's the book of Colossians, chapter That's 3, and verse 25. Bring it out. But he hath doeth wrong. This is wrong. Right, read shall receive for the wrong which he have done. So God said, if you do this, you have to receive the wrong things you've done. That's do you believe in equity? Are you a woman of justice I and of character? Woman. I am a woman of justice. So where is my justice? I'm hoping that it comes. It is going to come. We read out of the Bible, it's going to come. God says, you leave somebody into slavery, you're going to go into slavery. Get in Revelation right. 2 and 26. Right. But that's why God is not a great It's a book. A revelation. Chapter two and verse twenty-five. Bring it up. Verse twenty-six. Bring it up. And he that overcometh and keepeth my works unto the end. God, so God said that if I endure and if, 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 if my brothers endure, right? Read. To him will I give power over the nations. So God said my people are going to have power yep. over the nation. Uh, That's right. over you, right? Read. And he shall rule them. He shall what? And he, he shall, shall rule them. So God said black people are going to rule over white. People. Why do people have killed my people? Why do we have for to rule over each other? Because it's justice. You have ruled Why, over my people. That, that makes sense. That, that makes you guys as wrong as us. Say it again. It makes you guys as wrong as the ancestors to rule over. What about Why equaling can't we it all out? get along and be equal? In, in a calculator, God you have to you equal it out. In a calculator, you have to equal it out. If you have killed my people but for hundreds you know, of years and you put my people God's in a slavery, and mercy. right? When is, when is my vengeance? Where's like, my vengeance? It's just like now. I, I see you no different than who I am. Well, I'm we're not talking about the Bible. We're not talking about how I view. We're not talking about how I view, how you view. Right? We read out of the Bible that if you lead somebody into slavery, you have to go into slavery. That's, right. That's what we read. Right. read. And he shall rule them read. with the rod of iron. God. As the vessels of a potter, shall they be broken to shivers. Shall they be what? Shall they be broken to shivers. Shall, shall they be what? Shall, shall they, they be broken, broken to shivers. So God is equity. If you kill and rape and lynch and hurt and for millions of years, but even so right now. Wrongs don't make a right. But God is justice. But Where's but the justice? Justice is not Give me doing second wrong Thessalonians, because someone else is chapter wrong. One, verse That's six. not justice. I love you guys. I'm praying for y'all. I think you guys are awesome, and I'm so glad you're out here. I got a precept. Like, no. I got a precept. One and six. It's the book of second, de second right. Thessalonians, chapter one, and verse six. Bring it out. Seeing it as righteous thing. With God to recompense. To do what? With God, God to, to recompense. To do what? With God, God to recompense. To recompense. It's a righteous thing for God to recompense. Right. Read tribulation to them that trouble you. God said that's a very righteous thing. Right. We've been troubled. That's last time I checked, my people have been lynched and slaughtered, and my great great ancestor was lynched. You know? Right. We've been fed to alligators, man. Go. Right. Rape. Our foremothers were raped, man. That's right. And yet, we just want to sit here like good Negroes and talk about Jesus loves you and it's repent and you're going to make it. We're not doing that to the old white lady. Man. Wake them up. We're not doing that, man. We're teaching equity. We're teaching justice, right? We're teaching the truth out of the Bible. Truth. Man. We're teaching our people to keep the commandments and death to the heathens, man. Death That's to right. The, death to the heathens. Death to the heathens. We're not dealing with the damn heathens, man. We're not dealing with them, man. That's right. No type of logic and two wrongs don't make a right. And preschool down, down preschool lessons are going to break the Bible. That's all. You know? Tell them on, brother. Do you remember me, brother? All, all praises, all praises. You got a minute for the words of the Lord? You got one minute for the words of the Lord? All praises, all praises. What's your nationality, King? I think we went over that. That's right. Say it again. That's right. You're a Hebrew Israelite. Hey, clap it up for them. Clap it up for them. Hey, that's, we clap, man. Clap it up for them. Huh? That's right. That's right, King. You're a Hebrew Israelite. That's right. Right. So now, knowing, oh, since you knew that, right, what does God require of you, King? Give me Revelation 14 and 12. 
Say it again. Keep the commandments and do what, okay? Oh, dear, I know what I got you, man. They all pray to the full side that you do so much. If you have thousands of people that walk by and they don't even know that they are Israelite. Right. But you, through the skin of most high bless you to know that. Most high bless you to understand that you have to keep the commandments. It's the book of Revelation, chapter 14 and verse 12. Good up. Here is the patience of the saints. Uh -huh. Here are they that keep the commandments of God. So this is you said. That's one of the things that we have to do. Is keep the commandments. Right? This is the thing that you were laughing. Right? We read it. In the faith of Yahweh Shah. And the word. In the faith of Yahweh Shah. So you have to keep the commandments. You got the absolute right, man. And in the faith in Yahweh Shah. Right? Yahweh Shah, that's the name of, of Christ. Right? Can you say that name for me, King? Yeah, how was right. That's right. Okay. Give me Acts chapter 16 and 30. Give me Romans chapter 10 verse 9. Okay. Acts 16 and 30. Say it again. If, if I say Yahashua, that's the wrong pronunciation. That's the wrong pronunciation. Yep. That's wrong. Okay. Wrong. Yep. Acts 16 and 30. His name is Yahweh Shah. Yahweh Shah. Acts 16 and 30. Oh, 16 and 30. It's the book of Romans, chapter 10, and verse 9. Bring it out. That if thou shalt confess with thy mouth God. the Lord Yahweh Shah, and shalt believe in thy heart. So if you believe, right, read, that God hath raised him from the dead, God. thou shalt be saved. Thou shalt be what? Thou, thou shalt, shalt be saved. Thou shalt be what? Thou, thou shalt, shalt be saved. So if you believe in Yahweh Shah, you're going to be saved. That's right. I have to keep the commandments and keep that's right. right. What are the two things that you have to do, King? What? Yep. I just said. Uh, oh. Yep. You have to keep the faith in the Come! That's right. That's right. That's right. That's right. That's right. You got Acts. Give me John 3 and 36, King. Bring that out, Mike. It's the book of Acts, chapter 16 and verse 30. Bring it out. It brought them out and said, Sirs, what must I do to be saved? Hey, so you have a, a man asking, hey, what do I have to do to be saved? Right. Right? Do you want to be saved? Do you want to be saved? Uh, Jonathan, do uh, you want to be saved? Uh, do you want to be saved? Uh, we want to be saved. Yes, sir. So we're going to read what we have to do to be saved, all right? All right, read. If they said, believe on the Lord, Yahweh Shah. Do what? Believe, believe on the Lord, Yahweh Shah. Do what? Believe on the Lord, Yahweh Shah. Do what? Believe on the Lord, Yahweh Shah. So you have to believe on the Lord, man. That's right. You have to keep the commandments and believe in Yahweh Shah. All right, so what are some of the commandments that we have to keep? There's 634 of them. 613, that's right, within, within the Torah. Let me ask you something. Talk to okay. me. Paul said, I'll be going to be saved. That's right. Okay. That's right. Oh, she, and, then, that and then Paul also said, I'm going to make a new covenant with the house and do the house of Israel after the day. That's right. So this is the house of Israel. Right? What tribe do you come from, Ken? Judah dwell in Babylon. Judah. That's right. Ju Judah does dwell in Babylon. That's right. Right? And it said Judah and Ephraim were oppressed together. That's right. That's why you had the Hispanics and the Native Americans. They dwell in the Americas as well. Right? But this is you said. Judah dwells in Babylon. Yeah. Hey, Negroes is in America, man. In slavery. Look, who started your job? All right, look. Oh, dog, I know, right? But it's a lot of it's some things I need to Okay, that's all I got to say. I was told, you know, but it's some things. It ain't no one to do it. Say it again? It ain't all about no one, it's about doing it. That's right. It's not about knowing, it's about doing. Give me Matthew chapter 7, verse 14. Okay? That's right. So now you know you have to keep the commandments and keep the faith. Right. Right, after we get these precepts, we're going to go into the commandments that you have to say. I ain't got no problem with commandments. All right. right. I got a problem with my own desires. Desire? Yeah. We all go through that. Yeah. Right? Give me um, Cyrus chapter 17. Cyrus chapter 17. 
no, right, verse 24. We, we all go through struggling with our own desires. Hey, I, I'll be a fool to act like we're up here perfect and mighty. Like we've never said, hey, I sin. I go off every day. Thousands of times a day, I sin. You know, but this is what we have to do. I sin, this brother sin, you sin, everybody sin. Okay, be more than right. Say it again? Can you be more specific about what I'm talking about? Can, can, I, can you be specific yeah. about what you're talking about? In the latter days, some of them will give themselves to seduce the spirit. Okay. That's it. Okay. Can we start It's the book of Ecclesiasticus, chapter 17, verse 24. Bring it out. But unto them that repent, he granted them return. Hey, so if you repent, the most high is going to grant return unto you. Majority. Right, give me a second. Esther chapter 7 and 66. Right, so if you repent, okay, the most high, he, he can forgive you from all sin. Right. From any sin, hey, he can forgive you. Hold that. Give me First John 1 verse 9, okay? First John 1 verse 9. Right, you got right, you got right? Because the Lord, he can forgive you. I've done abominable. Things that are very evil and very wicked within the sight of the Lord, right? But I, I, I have faith that He forgave me, and I have faith that He's going to continue to forgive me for my sins. That's right. First uh, John one and nine. This is the book of First John, chapter one and verse nine. Yeah. yeah. If we confess our sins, so if we confess our sins, right? Read. He is faithful and just to forgive us our sins. Some of them. Yeah. So like the, and just to forgive us oh, our sins. And, and so the Lord, he can forgive you for any sin. Mm -hmm. And it seems he can only forgive you if you eat pork. And it doesn't say that. The Lord can forgive you for all sins. Right? Give me John chapter oh, 14. That's right. That's right. That's right. But you didn't know what seducing spirits can. Hey, the whole side, he can forgive you for that. You can repent. That's like how I repent on a daily basis, Lord willing. Multiple times a day, like how these brothers repent. Multiple times a day on a daily basis. And I have faith. The Lord for, will forgive me for my sin. I'm, I'm a sinner. Huh? I'm, I'm a sinner, right? A chief sinner. Y'all got one minute for God, though. You got one minute to spare for the Lord. So we trying to be Shalom, shalom. Give me, um, give me Revelation one and six. We can bring that. Yeah, you bring out that. Yeah, John eight. Look, listen to this though. As you walk, man. Okay? Right, book of Second Edges, chapter seven. Verse 66, right yeah. and that he is of great mercy, for he multiplieth more and more mercies to them that are present and that are lucky and that are past. Constant, hey, the most high, he multiplies mercy. The most high knows that we're sinners. Right. The most high knows that we're no good. Huh? But the Lord multiplies his mercy. Right. Multiplication, that's a lot. You do two times two, that's four. Right. Four times two, that's eight. Right. Right. Eight times two, that's 68. Triple. Quadruple, you know, just in a few steps, multiplying his mercy, man. Right, read. And also to them which are to come. Okay. For if he shall not multiply his mercy. So if the Lord didn't multiply his mercies unto us, right, read. The world will not continue with them. And we wouldn't even be here if the Lord did not multiply his mercy. Right. So even you just standing right here, okay, and you hearkening down unto the words of the Lord, that's a blessing. Right, give me Proverbs chapter 10, verse 8. And Proverbs chapter 1, verse 8. Right, Proverbs 10, 10 verse 8. Right. Because, hey, if you have breath within your lungs, that's a blessing. Right. right. You have a chance to repent. You have a chance to ask the most high for forgiveness. The Lord, he didn't have to do that. The Lord, he should have killed me this morning, man. Right. I was laying in my bed thinking about folly and madness. The Lord should have struck me down right there and said, yeah, I've had enough of you, you unprofitable servant. Right, but the Lord, he has mercy. Right, read the book of Proverbs chapter 10, verse 8. Bring it out. The wise in heart. Will receive commandments. And so the Lord said that the wise man is going to receive commandments. Right. The wise man is, is, is going to hear. So the Lord, he will call you a wise man. Right, read. But a praying fool shall fall. Hey, but a praying fool shall fall. Give me one and eight, man. Probably so. So that wise man, like how you are, King, is going to receive the commandments that most are willing. Take it step by step, right, and keep getting built up in the spirit. Book right, of Proverbs. Keep getting built up until that day comes to where we're in glorified bodies. Uh, until where we're perfect. Uh, in the kingdom of heaven, not worrying about the weather, not worrying uh, about where I'm gonna find a place to sleep. Uh, where am I gonna find to eat? Uh, where am I gonna find a place to Give me John chapter 14. John 14. Book of John chapter 14. John 14. It's the book of John chapter 14. In verse 1, yeah. let not your heart be troubled. So, 
Christ said, don't let your heart be troubled. Right, read. He believe in God. God. Believe also in me. Read. In my father's house. In the father's house. In the kingdom. Right, read. Or many mansions. Or what? Or many mansions. Or what? Or many mansions. Or what? Or many mansions. Right, so what are the two things that we have to do to get in a mansion, okay? What are the two things that we have to do? Say it again. Uh, we we said it's the two things. Oh. It's keep the commandments. Mm -hmm. And what's the second thing? That's right. That's right. That's right. Those are the two things that's required for you to receive a mansion. I want a mansion. I don't know about anybody else. Do you want a mansion, King? I right. want to mention, I you want to mention. Right. I want to be a doorkeeper in the house of the Lord to be blue mm. by salvation. That's, right. That's right. That's right. That's right. That's right. Got it. Go uh, listen. Yeah, yeah. Verse 2. It's lucky. Verse 3. And if I go and prepare a place for you, read, I will come again and receive you unto myself. Council A. Uh, the, the Lord, he's preparing a place for us, okay? A big mansion, a big house, the heaters, and warmth. Right. It's the Look book of Matthew, chapter 8 and verse 20. Read up. And Yahweh Shah said unto him, This is Yahweh Shah. This is Christ. Right, read. The foxes have holes, and the birds of the air have nests. Uh -huh. But the Son of Man. But the Son of Man. Right. This is Christ. Right. right, let's read about how Christ was living. Right, right read. Has not word to lay his head. So even Christ, he didn't have a stable place to lay his head. He didn't know where he was going to sleep. But guess where Christ is now? Say it again. That's right. He's in the third heaven on the right hand side of the most high. Because he stayed down. He stayed humble. He stayed meek. He stayed sincere. He did the Father's will and the Father magnified him and glorified him above all else. I have faith that if you do the same, Cain, that if you do the Lord's will, right. keep the commandments, right. keep the faith, that the Lord is going to magnify you. That's right. That the Lord is going to bless you beyond measure. Talk to him. Beyond Pete. what I can comprehend. That's beyond right. what this mighty brother can comprehend. Beyond, right. beyond what anybody can damn comprehend. True. Walk right. 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 You got First Corinthians 2? It's true. Yeah. Somebody, somebody get First Corinthians 2 and 9, bro. Get up. I'm just doing my phone. That's all right. This is book of First Corinthians, chapter 2. In verse 9, you know, but as it is written, I have not seen, I have not seen, read, nor he heard, God, neither have entered into the heart of man. <laughs> so also you can't even imagine, right. right, read, the things which God have prepared for them that love him. So if you love God, God has a lot prepared for you, okay? right. a lot, man, more than this damn wicked America yeah. Babylon has for you. Right. Ba this, this, this is not a rest. We don't have nothing here. I don't have nothing here. I have nothing in America. We have nothing. This is our captivity. Right. This is the land of, of our slavery. Right? But if we stay down, if we stay, uh, so like, I think I want Philippians 2 and 10. Let's look at that for me. Uh, you got Jeremiah 31? Wait, hold that. I think I want Philippians 2. Bring it out, bring it out. We're going to bring that up. It's the book of Jeremiah chapter 31 and verse 19. Bring it out. 31, 13. 31 and verse 13. Then shall the virgin rejoice in the dance, both young men and old together. Huh? So if the young men and the old men, they're gonna rejoice in that day, right? right. You just get Psalm chapter 126 to right, read. For I will turn their mourning into joy. The Lord's gonna turn our mourning. This is we're mourning. Right. right. I, Lord A. Lord knows yeah. what we do for our people. Right? Right. How much sadness we feel for our people. Right. Our right. people, we out here struggling. It's damn 22 degrees out here. Right. It's cold as hell out here. Right? But the Lord, He has a mansion promised to us and much more than we can even comprehend if we stay low and keep the commandments. Right. And keep the faith in who? That's right. That's right. right. Bring that up. It's the book of Psalms. Uh, Psalms 126 and verse uh, really start from the top. It's the book of Psalms, chapter 126. When the Lord turned again the captivity of Zion, we were like them that dream. Then was our mouth filled with laughter. Council A, hey, the Lord, he's going to turn our captivity, man. Right. What is it to turn something? Change. To change it, man. A 360, a power shift, right? He's going to turn our captivity, right? Read. And our tongue was singing 
Then said they, uh -huh. among the heathen, the Lord has done great things for them. Hey, so the Lord is going to do great things for us. That's right. That's what these nations are going to say. Now, nowadays, these nations, they walk by and look at us like we're a piece of trash. You know, like we're just nothing but black men in damn America. But who are we? That's right, the children of God. Being, right. being what? Meaning what? No, being what? What's our nationality? Oh. Hebrew Israelite. That's right. right. That's right, King. That's our real nationality. We're the sons of the Lord. Teach up. Uh, right, read. Verse 3. Bring it out. The Lord has done great things for us. Cop. Whereof we are glad. We're, we're going to be glad in that day. You're not going to be walking down with your head down. Thinking, damn, it's so cold out here. We're going to be glad in that day. Right, read. Right. Hey, and this is why we work. We don't keep the commandments for no reason. Mm -hmm. Buzz aren't out here in the cold for no reason. You aren't out here listening for no, I'm sure you got stuff to do. Right. You're not out here listening for no reason. Right, because we want the kingdom. Huh? Right. right, read. Turn again our captivity, O Lord, huh? as the streams in the south. Huh? So they're going to turn. They're, they're going to be in captivity. Right. They're going to be enslaved and right. changed. Yes. Right, read. Verse 5. Huh. They that sow in tears, they, they that what? They that sow in tears. They that what? They that sow in tears. They that what? They that sow in tears. So what do you think it means to sow something, King? To sow. All right, to sow, that's like you're laboring and planting. Like you're starting a garden. God said if you sow in tears. We have a lot of tears in this thing. Don't we now see? Now let's see what that's going to yield. Let's see what that's going to reap. Let's see what that tears, the seeds of tears. Let's see what let's see what that's going to grow into. Right, read. They that sow in tears, read, shall reap in joy. Shall what? Shall reap in joy. Shall what? Shall reap in joy. No pain is forever. Shall reap in joy. We're going to reap in joy. If you do what? The two things. That's right. If you do that. Although we sow in tears, right. we're going to reap and joy. That's yeah. right. We're going to be a slave owners forever. Let's just keep it real. These white people, they're going to want to change. Come. Okay, Paul said, they will make a new covenant with the house of Judah, the house of Israel after them days. You'll get it. Put my laws in their mind and write them in their heart. That's right. They take, they, they take them out of tears. Tell each other, they're going to they all go to me. That's right. them to the great. That's right. So don't that mean all this really gonna be saved? That's right. That's right. That's right. That's hey, right. brother, I gotta go. You gotta go? Yeah. Oh, okay. Thank you. All praise to the most high. Oh, 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 okay, y'all about to know. Shot. Rock and top, rock and roll, rock and roll. Stop. All right, let's close up. Let's get Psalm chapter 34. Psalm chapter 34. It's a book of Psalms. It's a book of Psalms, chapter, chapter 34, 34, and verse 1. Here we go. When he changed his behavior before. 34, verse 1. It's the book of Psalms. Yeah. Chapter 34, yeah. and verse 1. Yeah. Yeah. I will bless the, it's like I will bless the Lord at all times. I will do what? I will bless, bless, bless the Lord at all times. I will do what? I will bless the Lord at all times. So we're going to bless the Most High's name, Yahweh, at all times. That's right. Right, read. His praise shall continually be in thy, my mouth. Hey, his praise is going to continually be in our mouth. That's right. Right, read. My soul shall make her boast. In the Lord. What? My, My soul shall make, make her boast in the Lord. Lord. We boast in the Lord, man. We don't boast in stacks of bread right. and That's having that. half a Bitcoin. We don't boast in having half a Bitcoin and know how to trade for damn cryptocurrency. We got to flip. Yeah, I made $10 today as we're all raising the whole time. We're not boasting in that, man. Right. We're right. boasting, hey, and praising the whole time and doing his name and keeping the commandments That's and right. keeping the faith on side of the Right, read. The humble shall hear thereof and be glad. God. Verse 3. Oh, magnify the Lord with me. Oh, do what? Oh, magnify the Lord with me. Oh, do what? Oh, magnify the Lord with me. Oh, do what? Oh, magnify the Lord with me. Free. And let us exalt his name together. Let us exalt his name That's together, right. man. Right, we're going to, hey, free verse 3 again, okay? Oh, magnify the Lord with me. Oh, do what? Oh, oh magnify, magnify the Lord, Lord with me. We're going to magnify the Lord's name, right? Read. And let us exalt his name together. And we're going to exalt his name. Bah, 